Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and we got a really fun video today. I've got my good buddy, Bobby Huff, who's an awesome producer, engineer, multi-instrumentalist, and he's also got a killer YouTube channel you guys gotta check out down in that link down there. And today I have him on my channel to talk about the essentials of home recording and the home studio. He is an absolute expert. So uh, let's hear what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bobby Huff. All right, hey Marty, thank you so much for having me on your channel. I love your channel and it's a pleasure to be here. Quickly, a little bit about me. They made me do this. I'm a producer, I'm a writer, I have a YouTube channel. I've worked with Shine Down, Papa Roach, Reba McIntyre, Three Doors Down, Gene Simmons, Alice Cooper, Hailstorm, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I've been around the block a little bit. I started my career in studios, big studios where you had to pay a lot of money to go every day and record. But now, because of technology, we can do all this at home. We don't have to pay an hourly rate. It's fantastic, the sounds are awesome. It's much, much more convenient for all you first timers to shredders. Let's get into a little bit more about what it takes to make your guitar come through your computer and practice on your riffs, write songs, whatever it is that you wanna do. Let me get into what it takes to get your guitar into a computer so you can start making music at home. Here's a short list and then we'll get into the particulars later. You're gonna need a computer that has some horsepower, a DAW, a digital audio workstation, a smart name for really a tape recorder and editor, an audio interface, which basically means a way to make the outside world talk to your computer. It takes audio signal from your guitar and turns it into digital. If you want to get into recording vocals or live amps, you're going to need a mic cable and you're going to need a microphone. But if you are more into like modern day technology and you just want to do virtual amps, you're going to need a virtual amp program that goes inside of your DAW program too. Don't let this sound complicated. I used to think it sounded complicated and it scared the heck out of me. But it's not complicated. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you for just a few hundred bucks how to record at home and make your own music. So let's get into the particulars and find out how much this is going to cost. The first thing you need, obviously, is a computer. Now we got this fancy setup here, but let me show you my computer that I travel with and do sessions with all the time. A Dell laptop. I got this about six years ago and it was about $325. My computer's six years old. It still does great. The thing about a DAW is maybe a three or four year old, two or three year old computer would be better because a DAW is really just like an app on your iPhone, but it's an app on your computer, a program. So sometimes the more they advance and the more updates they do, it takes a little bit stronger of a computer. But if you've got a computer, basically in the last four or five or six years, it's gonna be powerful enough for you to do everything that we're talking about today. All right, you guys, we got the computer thing figured out. Now we're gonna go into DAWs, D-A-W. A DAW is a digital audio workstation. It really means a tape recorder and an editor. Let me show you a few things that I recommend. You've all probably heard of GarageBand and uh, Cubase and Nuendo, Logic and Pro Tools. You've all heard of Pro Tools somewhere. Pro Tools is great, they're all great. Pro Tools was really the first one that went big, so everybody jumped on that bandwagon a long time ago. Now, lots of people still use it, and it's great. But really, in the end, there's lots of these that do the same thing. Let me show you what I recommend, let me show you what I use, and we're gonna get you down the road quick with this. All right, so let's take a look at this. Old man glasses, stop laughing, it'll happen to you. Here is a DAW, digital audio workstation, that I think is great. It's great for starting out, there's lots of programs that come with it, a uh, drum machine inside, some keyboard stuff and all that. It's called Studio One. Um, it's by Personas. You get lots of stuff. You can record tracks, you can create grooves with drum machines, etc. Basically, limitless. Studio One Artist, $99.95. What does it have? Unlimited tracks effects and plug-in channels, unlimited buses, five virtual instruments, 27 native FX plugins, that's like compression and EQ and reverb and all that. Third-party plugins will work inside this that are really great. To start out on something like this, you can stick with this program your whole life, really. You'll be able to record, you'll be able to record your vocals, your guitars, and really get down the road and could really sit at this desk and make an entire record. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you about Personas. This is an add-on thing 
for personas, but this is brilliant for guitar players. It's an add-on program that works inside of Studio One called Empire. So what you get with this is amp models of Marshall, Vox, uh, Fender, Boogie, and an SVT bass amp. You also get these cabinets, and you also get great guitar pedals. Look, Tube Dreamer. We all know that means Tube Screamer. Reverb, delays, equalizers, chorus, Fenzer, Phaser, Pan, Reverb, Tremolo, Tube Driver, Wah Wah, all that stuff. It's virtual. You can turn it on and off. You can automate it within your song. So this is a super good program to have with Personas. How much does this cost to add on to your Personas price? $59.95. Now look, I don't endorse any of this, but I've heard it all. I've seen it all. I don't endorse any company particularly, but this rocks. You can get all these amps, get all these types of different tones in your song for an extra $59.95. So I'd really recommend this if you get Personas. Another one that I want to recommend for all you Mac people, and you've already got this one, GarageBand. It comes with tons of loops, tons of sounds. You could do multi-track recording on it. I think it gets a bad name because it it's free with Mac stuff and people think, oh, I, I can't really make a record on that. Of course you can, and you've already got it. So another super great option that gets you to the game quickly. Now for a DAW digital audio workstation that's a little more high end. This is the one I use. This is called Cubase. Lots of virtual instruments included. Um, keyboards, bass, drums, samples, things like that. Um, different keyboards, piano, pads, all kinds of stuff. Why do I use this and not Personas? Basically, it's because I learned on this one and I'm quicker at it. I can make a record on this one, you could make a record on this one, or you could make a record on the other one. You can do anything on both of them. As life goes sometimes, you tend to pick the one that you're quickest at, that you have the most comfort with. It's a fantastic, stable program. Let's look at how much it costs. $579.99. More than Personas, obviously. It does come with more options. If you don't know that you'd really need those options. What I use this for is making records. 200 tracks of vocals, um, drums, bass. Uh, so I'm, I'm using, I'm making huge big songs, sometimes 20, 300 tracks. So if we're really getting down to, you wanna make your own songs, you wanna do uh, play your riffs, you wanna write your own songs, Personas, the other one, is just gonna be absolutely just as good for you. All of these programs, make sure you read the requirements in all these pages of what it takes to run these systems. This is a 64-bit Windows 10 or 11 or higher and a Mac OS Big Sur or Mac OS Monterey. Make sure that you have those operating systems on your window or your Mac because you don't want any problems once you download these. You want to start making music right away. On to virtual guitar amps. There's lots of debate whether you can hear real or fake amp anymore. It doesn't matter. Fake, real. So many tours are done with amps that come out of boxes or software and some tours are done with real amps. We love them all. The easiest way to get into this at home is to have a virtual amp. Now, this is one of the ones that I use that's fantastic. It's made by Native Instruments. It's called Guitar Rig 6. You will get every sound you can ever imagine out of this program. This program will run inside of your Personas or your Cubase or any other program that you have. You can get everything from Metallica to Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix to The Police to Boston, any kind of sound you want, this has it. And they have great presets, all kinds of amp models, stomp boxes, whole racks that sound like certain people and certain guitar players. This is next level. This is really going to get you down the road if you want to get into the virtual amp thing, which I'd highly recommend. This is a $199 program, and it's actually on sale for $99.50. When you buy this and you put it in your program, it just doesn't mean you, you can use it once. You can use it multiple times. It just depends on how powerful your computer is. $99.50 Guitar Rig 6, fantastic for getting real sounding guitar sounds at home. Okay, so we've got the computer and we got the software. So how do I get my guitar into my computer? That's simple. You take your quarter inch cable and you 
plug it into the screen. No, you don't plug it into the screen. What we need is an audio interface, which means you take the rest of the world and you plug it into your computer through a box like this. Well, how do you do that with a guitar? See this? You put it in there. Now you're ready to rock out. Okay, this little device, your audio interface, is designed to capture and monitor audio with your computer. On the back, you'll probably have something that's a USB port or a Thunderbolt port. It's very, very important to look at your computer and find out what you've got on there. Do you have USB or do you have Thunderbolt? Because then you wanna go online and make sure that you get the proper device that has the same connection, USB or Thunderbolt. This hooks into your computer. This hooks into the rest of the world. You have quarter inch here for guitar, boom. If you wanna use a mic, same one, XLR cable. How do I turn it up? Ah, there's a gain knob right there. Oh, let me turn it up. Ah, too loud, let me turn it down. The other thing that's unique about this is left and right. It hooks into your speakers. This does both. It brings audio into your computer and your computer spits it back out through here so you can hear it through your speakers. And for you early shredders that have woken up your wife or girlfriend early in the morning, headphones, up, down, speakers, off. Okay, so let's look at some options for audio interfaces. Now, the one we showed you is the Focusrite Scarlet right here. It's got two inputs, $179.99. Not bad. Sounds great, it's made by Focusrite. Focusrite is a famous, famous company for making incredible audio stuff. For the next option, this is the Apollo Twin. This is what I have at home. This is a really advanced audio interface, but same thing. Plug your guitar in here, plug your headphones here, turn your volume up to your speakers here. It's got a computer in it that runs other things that doesn't tack your uh, CPU on your computer, and it's got a lot of fancy plugins that comes with it. If you want to get into advanced mixing and things like that, that's the way to go. But if you're really interested in just recording your guitars, they still sound great. The preamp in this is wonderful. I just recommend this one. Everything is going to sound fantastic, and you don't really need all the hoo ha that that one's got. All right, you guys, last thing I wanna talk about is a microphone. Now, what kind of guitar player are you? Are you a James Taylor kind of player or are you a rocker? First, let's start off with if you've got real amps at home that you'd like to use to get all of your guitar stuff into your DAW through your interface. Easy, the Shure SM57. You've heard it on every record your whole life. This is still the go-to mic after all these years. I mean, sometimes they double mic it and stuff like that, but don't worry about that. You're gonna get this right up next to your cone behind your grill screen, and it's gonna sound fantastic. A Shure SM57. How much? Around 100 bucks. Not bad to get a absolute classic mic that everybody uses on their guitar amp. I don't really, I'm not really a shredder. I, I'm a finger picker. I'd like to do some acoustic stuff and I'd also like to do vocal tracks with it into my DAW through my interface. Okay, easy. A large diaphragm mic is what you wanna go for. This will capture your vocals wonderfully and your acoustic guitar. 229 bucks. This is an Audio-Technica AT2050. It'll do a great job. Is it a $6,000 mic? No. Do you want a $6,000 mic? No. Get this one. I promise it'll sound great. And before I wrap this part up about mics, don't forget an XLR cable if you don't have one hanging out in the corner in the garage. And get a mic stand. Make sure the mic stand's a boom stand. If you're playing acoustic guitar, you don't want a straight mic stand right here in your lap. You want something that's coming out from the side that you can get in there comfortably and it's not messing up your playing. All right, one more thing about large diaphragm mics. Your audio interface is gonna have a little button that says plus 48 volts. They all have it. That is what it's gonna take to run, they call it phantom power, to a large diaphragm mic. So. When you plug your mic in, push that, and your mic will sound nice and pretty. Okay, you guys, so if you have headphones at home, earbuds, any kind of headphones will work just fine in all these audio interfaces. They all have quarter inch jacks. If you have the eighth inch, you might need a, a little converter in. Now, if you want a truer representation of 
what you're doing on your DAW digital audio workstation. Once you hit your car or the rest of the world, other places you listen to your music, you're gonna wanna get monitors. This is a great set of monitors. It's by Personas again. One of the guys here in the studio has them. They're three, 3 3.5 inch powered monitors. You would just come out of here with two quarter inch cables, hook them into the back of these, turn the power button on. There's volume on these and there's also your master volume on your audio interface. These will sound great, only $99.95 a pair. That'll get you down the road and you'll have a really good representation of what you're listening to. Now, if you wanna go up a level, these are the KRK 5 inch. You're gonna get some more low end. You're gonna have a little more detail in the low end, your bass, your kick drum, or the bottom end of your amp or your guitar rig amp. These are $340 a pair, a little more detail, a little more uh, covering the full spectrum of sound, but both of these speakers are great and either one you get, you're gonna be just fine. Okay, you guys, so we've kind of gone through all the things that it takes to get your guitar into your computer. Now, remember, we kind of have two options. We kind of did a low end and a high end option. Both of these are gonna be fine. Depends how much bread you wanna spend, but you're gonna be just fine. And remember this, the stuff that you put in your computer is only gonna sound as good as how much you practice and how much you put into it. Now here's the thing, you can write your own songs, you can listen to your own riffs back, you can listen to your timing, you can listen to your pitch when you're bending things. Are your power chords, are you hitting them too hard and they're going sharp or flat? Not only is this a great way, a great way of writing songs and get your creativity out, maybe you wanna try some singing, uh, later we'll get into like stacking parts and stacking sounds, but this is really a great practice tool to listen back to what you're doing and go, oh man, I'm rushing there, I'm dragging there, I'm flat, I'm sharp. I don't like the solo I played, let me try some other things. It's a really good learning tool to really sharpen your guitar skills. Really what I'm saying is if you're really spending the time and dedicating the time on Marty's channel to listen to the riffs he's doing, the blues stuff, learning these songs, this is a great way to listen back to yourself to make sure you're getting the most out of your playing. He's teaching, you're learning, but you can really get to the next level detail of how you're playing these riffs and the things that Marty's showing you. All right, guys, so let's tally all this up. We've gone through a cheaper option and a little more expensive option. The cheaper option is around 500 bucks. 500 bucks, man, that, that's like, that's about as much as a bad pawn shop strat. Okay, so 500 bucks to like really change your musical life and really change your guitar playing. Man, I really feel like that's a reasonable option. All right, now for the more expensive package. The more expensive package is gonna run you around 2,500 bucks. Now, listen, don't get freaked out. I started with cheaper gear and through the years, I've traded things out and landed to where everything I've got is kind of at high level. But you don't need this to start. If you wanna get the $2,500 package, you're never gonna to have to go anywhere else. That stuff's gonna last a long, long time and sound great. Two packages, both are gonna be great. Both are gonna get you started making music from your guitar into your computer. Marty, thanks so much for having me on your channel, sharing your audience with me. It's awesome being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for letting me get out a few easy ways to start from your guitar playing into making music into a computer. If you wanna learn more about audio production, audio mixing, to go into the next level detail, come by my channel, Music Surgery with Dr. Bob, or just in the search engine of YouTube, hit Bobby Huff. We'd love to see you there. Yo, Bob, hey, thank you so much, man, for that video. All that information was really great. I hope people get a lot out of it. I know it was informative for me. Uh, so hopefully you can do some more here at the channel. And also I'll just let my audience know if there's any uh, stuff you'd like to see in this category, please let Bobby and I both know in the comments below. And uh, thanks again, Bobby. Thanks again, everyone, for watching and hope to see you again real soon.